<laughs> what you doing? Scanning for prices. Petasalm has real good prices. Hey, Mike. Hey, Chrissy. Hey, can you tell us a little bit about your operation here? Yeah, well, here at Pet Asylum, we specialize in natural and holistic products. We try to exclusively get new products that are made in the U.S. With all the pet food recalls that have been happening lately, we really want to make sure the product has a lot of quality control in place. Great. There's lots of great products that come out of the U.S. So let me show you some of our natural flea and tick remedies. Okay. One thing that we specialize here is natural and holistic flea and tick remedies. This is a Neem Protect shampoo, which will relieve itching due to flea and tick bites. Okay. Let me show you some other products that we have over great. here. Great all natural pet foods, all made in the U.S. No fillers, no byproduct, no chemical preservatives. I love that. Let me great. show you some other stuff. Here. Okay. Chrissy, this is a great alternative for those that want to cook for their dogs. This is an all natural refrigerated meal. Slice it up and they're ready to go instead of having to cook for them. Great. Okay. <laughs> and we even have all the exotic small animal treats. Wow. Great. We got toys galore from the smallest dog to the largest. We have everything uh, yeah. here that you can think of. Great. Let's take a look over. And here. Chrissy, let me show you some of these natural. Oh, oh, you're not Chrissy. Chrissy. Here at Pet Asylum, we specialize in natural and holistic products for those people that are crazy about their pets. We're a family run business and we'd love for you to stop in and become part of our family. Welcome to this week's episode of Sit Speak. Do you ever wonder what your pets are thinking? Do you think they wonder about you? Does that sound crazy? Well, come on, let's go meet Tracy and we'll find out. Okay, today we have uh, Stella, little Stella right here, and Nancy, her owner. Hi, Hi thank you for Tracy. coming. You can sit in the middle here. Hello, Stella. How are mm -hmm. you today? Stella, little be no, dot, Beagle, Dotson. Beagle, we always we okay. got her from the shelter, so we don't okay. really know. So I, I think she has some Dachshund characteristics. Uh -huh. You might be right about that. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions about Stella yes. or Tracy? I do want to tell you first that people, people seem to think she's a puppy. She says, I'm not a puppy. <laughs> I'm not a puppy. People think I'm a puppy because I'm little. <laughs> but I'm not a puppy. I'm a big dog. <laughs> well, that was her first comment. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll go on with your questions. With, with Stella, she's had some health issues, and I wanted to know how she was feeling. Okay. What area in particular are we going to look at? She had, um, she had a lymphoma growth removed from her back leg. Okay. And she's undergone chemo. Oh, very oh. good. She has a great energy for, under, for undergoing anything that harsh. That can take a lot out of them. She has bounced back incredibly. Um, let me see what she has to say about it. There was a time when she really didn't feel well, she says. Um, but she feels very good now. She said um, her strength is back. She had felt very weak. Very weak in the legs she's shown. The front legs. Um, really bothered her having the weakness in the, in, the, in the front legs, but she has regained her strength. 
um, she was very frightened. Um, did she have to spend a lot of time or overnight in the vets? She's showing me inside the vet's office and it feels like it was a long time that she had stayed there. Initially, when she had the growth removed, she did stay at the vet um, probably like four or five days. Okay, very good. That was the scariest part. Um, I wish I knew where she came from, you know, what kind of situation she came from because of the odd behaviors that she has now. Mm -hmm. Maybe Stella could tell mm -hmm. Tracy yeah, that's a see. little bit about her past. Tell me about your time before the shelter. Where were you? I, she was on the street, okay? I don't know if she came in as a stray or if she was, but she's showing me running on the street. She also shows me a lot of outside time and um, with many other dogs. So maybe she was um, born into a place where they thought maybe she'd be a hunting dog or just with a, a pack of dogs. Um, but I feel like she was part of a very big unit, but she didn't fit well in that unit. Um, she couldn't get the concept of what they wanted from her. <laughs> um, the whole chasing hunting thing just wasn't working mm -hmm. for her. Um, I also believe that they had considered even, I don't want to say it, but I'm going to, taking her out and shooting her, which is heartbreaking uh. that she's going to cry for her. It's heartbreaking that she's showing me this, but I'm very, very thankful that she is showing me this. Thank you for opening that for me, honey. Uh. Um, Yes, she was very, very frightened at that time, and she would never, never want to be back in that situation again. And she's thanking you for saving her. Aww. She's thanking you for rescuing her. Um, she's had so much, she's had so much fear in her life. So much of her beginning life was surrounded in deep-seated fear. And that may be why some of the, I mean, I'm not exactly sure what behavior she's showing me. She's also showing me that she would also be locked behind a door because she's scratching at a door. Um, but it's more like a barn door. So um, she might have been with a pack of dogs in a, um, in a barn or something like that or in a shed or, or something like that because I get her scratching there. Um, outside a lot. And that would sort yeah. of figure with okay. her behavior because her behavior when I brought her home was that she had never been in a house before. Okay. Oh wow. She didn't know the sounds of TV or the phone ringing. She would run around the house. Wow. Well, that's like, really great. Everything that's was new to goosebumps. her. <laughs> everything was new to her. Like she never witnessed it before. Hmm. That was awesome that she sh oh yes, she said the bathroom really, did the bathroom scare her? She showed me the bathroom was a really hard concept for her, like the shower, the noise of the shower. Mm -hmm. That was um, very, very strange to her. She couldn't quite figure, get a grasp on that for a long time. And that, you know, that would make sense, I guess. She would always, especially if she's hearing it behind a closed door, mm -hmm. and she wouldn't get the concept of it, but she understands it now. Um, I even get before she went, and had her um, little surgery. Um, I even get that her head would kind of get cloudy or dizzy. Did you ever see her shaking her head before you went? Okay, because it's almost like a fog that would like, she'd be like trying to shake herself loose of this. And mm -hmm. she's not getting that anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's huge, that's mm -hmm. huge. They always know when something's wrong with them, it'll present in different ways, but they try to show us by doing things like that, shaking their head or giving different clues, but we don't always know what that right, means. Right, right. We just thought she was being silly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, okay. And, and mm -hmm. she said she was just trying to clear her head from it. So she's very, very clear now, and she's very happy now. Good, because she feels better. She, oh, she's asking you, um, am I a good companion to you? Am I a good dog for you? Oh, I love her to pieces. No. And I think um. she knew that, but she wanted to hear it. Yeah. Sometimes they do. You know, sometimes they just want to hear it. Um, and, but she's very glad because she's so bonded with you. She says, you're my heart. You saved my heart. I love you. Aww. When she her. was brought into, the, I volunteered at the shelter. And when she was brought in as a stray, I, uh, I saw her in the back cage. And I quickly told the staff, if nobody comes to claim her, she's mine. Oh, that's mm -hmm. wonderful. So I waited out the seven days or eight days that they have to hold them. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that's the law. Yeah. That's, that's at least the New Jersey law and anyway. Each day I was like, please don't come for her because I want her. <laughs> no. Well, she had the same hope. Mm -hmm. When she first saw you, she says she looked straight in your eyes and you looked straight in hers. And she knew there was the connection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I carried her Beautiful. right out of the shelter because I'm a dog walker. So I okay. carried her. As soon as I saw her, 
I put a leash on her, carried her outside, <laughs> and of course everybody was teasing me. They say, oh, we know where, where she's going to go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, well, Stella's very, very lucky to have you. I'm lucky. And too. you're lucky, yeah. One more, one, let me ask you one more thing on her behalf. She wants to know, again, names keep coming up all over the place lately. She wants to know why you picked this name for her. What Stella means to you. Well, um, from the Seinfeld episode. Okay. <laughs> where Elaine's calling out <laughs> Stella. Okay. <laughs> so then that means there's a very strong connection to that name. Maybe well, did she watch then Seinfeld? We just like the name. Did she put it on so she could watch it. Just, <laughs> she likes the name. It's yeah, not that she it doesn't like her. it, but she's wondering what, where it, it came it from. Yeah, we liked the name. Oh, you're welcome. That was important, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that was very important to you. Um, oh. She she understood that it meant something, but she she couldn't quite figure out what. So it's connected with another human. That's very very important, and that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. You like that, huh? Because you were that important too. Yeah, that's good for her. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Stella. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank okay, you so guys. much. Thank Wonderful you. to meet you. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Nice nice to you. Meet you. Thank you, Stella. And join us next week on Tip Speak and tune in and catch us on Facebook. Bye bye. 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 Thank you.